Hello and welcome to Miniature Adventures, I'm Big Lee and today I want to talk about lighting and how you illuminate your table when you're painting. So anyone who's seen some of my pictures on my blog or some, maybe on the video will know that I use a lot of lights when I'm painting. Um, uh, obviously not everyone viewing this is going to be a painter or a modeler um, so some of this might not be relevant to you but if you are a painter or a modeler no doubt you have a lamp at least one over your painting desk um, or maybe maybe you paint al fresco but i would suggest that that is a dangerous path to tread um, so i'm assuming that most of you out there if you are a painter or a modeler will use some form of illumination over your paint desk um, and I just want to talk about my setup, why I do it, and to have a little brief talk about um, energy efficiency, what with energy prices rising the way they are at the moment. So once upon a time, um, I would, I, my painting desk was a lot smaller. Um, well, initially I started off with a, a little uh, portable painting tray type thing, um, which wasn't really very good. Um, eventually I got myself a little desk that I could use and it was downstairs in uh, in my living room so of course you had all the normal noises and disruptions and so on and eventually I managed to move up into this room um, but when I was working downstairs really I didn't have a lot of uh, room for additional lamps so I, I, I managed to end up with uh, well I started off with a single normal desk lamp with a daylight bulb in it um, which was good better than a, a regular bulb um, but not nearly enough illumination for my needs. Um, uh, then I managed to get a couple of, uh, sort of semi-portable folding lamps from the likes of Hobbycraft, um, uh, and they were much better, a lot better illumination, um, cut out a lot of the shadows, um, still not quite enough for me. I mean, I've found that as the years have gone by and my scale's gone down and my eyes have got worse, I need more illumination to see correctly. Um, so eventually I ended up buying a third lamp, <laughs> um, uh, which wasn't quite as good as the others, but it did help a little bit. Since I've been up here, um, I've made a few other changes, um, and there's a, now a, a high-powered LED daylight bulb up in the ceiling, um, and I've got some additional lamps that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, long story short is that um, for any normal human being they would need sunglasses to paint i find that i've now finally after 30 years of painting finally got enough illumination to be able to see what i'm painting properly now this is an entirely personal perspective but i thought i'd talk you through it and, and show you my setup and talk about why i've got the lights that i've got to do that i'm going to have to move the camera over here so that i can show you my paint desk which is down here so let's go and change position so here's my very messy paint desk. It's a bit untidy today. Um, I've been doing a lot of painting. Uh, we, as, fil as I'm filming this, I'm in the last week of the Analog Hobbies painting challenge. So uh, lots of different projects on the go. There's a load of stuff over there drying out um, and, and various other things I'm doing. So uh, when I'm done, I'm going to be taking all of this off, giving it a good clean because there is uh, flock, sand and glue everywhere. Um, I'm not normally that messy, but it's just been a very busy period. Um, so you can see my painting setup here. Um, the lighting isn't ideal for doing a video, but it is indicative of what I do. So um, uh, I have, have a couple of lamps here over my desk. Um, they are, I don't know the, the wattage on these, but they're pretty good. So you can get these from like Hobbycraft and you can get them online. Um, very good quality. Uh, they're uh, low energy uh, fluorescent bulbs, so very low energy, I think they're A rated, um, so they're very good. There's a third one there which isn't as good, um, and after I bought it I realised it wasn't quite as, it was, it was a normal fluorescent tube in it, so it's a lower rating, uh, or higher rating, whatever you want to call it, it's a, I think it's a C, so it's, it's not very energy efficient. It doesn't actually kick out as much light as the other, so I very rarely use that, in fact I'm probably going to get rid of that one. Um, because these two are sufficient because I also use my light box so let's put it into the position now I use the light box obviously when I'm sat over here Hello. for my videos um, but when I'm sat at my desk I swivel it around and this thing has got a compact fluorescent uh, bulb in it one of those whirly squirrely things um, uh, again A rated so relatively low energy um, 
for the amount of light that I get out of it. Um, and of course I can use it for me when I'm doing videos and I want a proper illumination for that. Um, but I can also use it on my desk or when I'm paint photographing models, I can swing it around. Um, the tripod takes up a bit of space in this room, but you know, that's what it is. I've got to work with the space that I've got. Um, I would love to have a second one, but there's, there's no room. I'm tripping over everything as it is. Um, but between that lamp and these lamps, I've got virtually a, a complete, virtually shadowless environment down here. Certainly as far as um, painting is concerned, I find it's the best illumination I've ever had. Um, and it really does help me see what I'm doing as I get a little bit older and my eyes get a little bit dimmer. Um, uh, I found I need more illumination and not everyone's going to uh, need that much. Some people are going to do with, put up with a lot less, but this is my setup. So um, I, I have in the past used some other portable type lights. So um, I've got a, a folding portable one here. I'm taking this one on holiday, um, very good. Doesn't last very long on battery only, so you do need to plug it in. Um, uh, but that's a, again, daylight bulb. Um, I'm not, it's an LED, so it's going to be relatively low power, um, uh, or low energy consumption rather, um, perfect for taking away on holiday. Um, and I also have a, a small ring light, which occasionally I'll use for some videos, really depends on the setup. Um, I very rarely rely on daylight because the, the light can change so much, um, and I find that when doing videos or taking photographs, or even when I'm painting, um, Closing the, the curtains just produces a more even set of light that I can control a lot better. So I tend to close the curtains for that. Um, when I'm working in general, you know, when I'm using this room as my office rather than my painting room, I'll have the curtains out and a little bit of normal daylight in. Um, but this is my so this is my setup basically. Um, it, it's like I say, it's probably too bright for some people. Um, but I do find that I uh, really benefit from having this level of illumination. But of course the downside is energy consumption. Um, now as I've said, these are all A-rated, um, so there's still room for some improvement. Now I have looked into it, I can get a, um, a, a double A-rated uh, compact fluorescent, uh, not compact fluorescent, um, LED, sorry, uh, bulb that will fit this, so that will give the same amount of illumination. Um, bit expensive, so basically I'm going to wait until this one breaks before I replace it because it's quite a layout of money um, unnecessarily at this stage. And I say this is a relatively uh, low energy consumption as it is. These I I, I already got um, uh, the A rated compact fluorescent tubes in. Um, I'm looking at to see if there's an alternative that is even lower energy. I'm not sure there is because these are uh, a bit more unique fitting, but um, you know. I'll have a look. And there's always new products coming on the market at any one time. And of course, when I'm not painting um, or doing videos, I try and turn my lights off as much as possible. And the other thing I try and do in here as well is I, I don't leave stuff on on standby any more than I have to um, because it still uses energy. Um, so that, you know, and obviously this is going to be a concern. You know, here in the UK, we've seen uh, household energy prices rise by over 100%. In about a year and they're going to go up a bit more um, and, and now that ukraine has turned into a shooting war we're going to see that last for quite some significant time as our uh, leaders finally belatedly realize that reliance on russian gas might not be a strategically good idea um, but there we go i'm straying into politics um, so i think energy prices are going to remain high and you have to factor in the cost of running things like these. And if you've got a war game shed or a dedicated room, you know, you're going to be using a lot of household energy in that room. I certainly spend a lot of time in here. Um, I, I dread to think how much energy I'm using compared to the rest of the house, which is all in darkness most of the time. Um, but, you know, going for low energy bulbs certainly helps. And I'm going to be looking at lower energy alternatives. Um for when these things break down, which they inevitably will. I mean, I have changed the tubes in these before when they've broken. Um, uh, so at some point they're going to go and then I'll look for a lower energy alternative for them. But I, I like this free light setup uh, because it cuts out virtually all the shadows when I'm painting. So there you have it. That's my probably excessive 
uh, lighting setup for my painting. What about you? What do you do? Do you still rely on one single old-fashioned desk lamp with an ordinary tungsten bulb in it? Or have you upgraded to something a little bit better? What are your preferences when it comes to illuminating your painting table? Um, uh, and uh, have you factored in energy efficiency in the, the lights that you choose? Um, and are you going to be making any changes uh, in, the, in the immediate future as energy prices remain high and continue to go up? Um, I'd love to hear from you. I think it's an interesting side topic, one that doesn't often get discussed. So I'd certainly love to hear uh, your experiences and your thoughts on this issue. So that's it for this week. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and share. And of course, hit the bell notification icon so you can get updates whenever I post a new video. So until next week, look after yourself, get as many games in as you can. And of course, keep rolling high.